So welcome back. We're going to talk about some of the white wines of 2020, which is really a great vintage for white wine, I think. Ah, uh, definitely. Very nice vintage. Uh, we we fear not to have enough acidity mm. uh, at the beginning, but finally uh, the, the whites are very well balanced and deep. So it's a good surprise. Yes. I think everybody, uh, not just at the Auspice, but everybody is saying what oh, a wonderful vintage. Oh yeah, I think it's yeah. generally speaking uh, all among Burgundy. Terrific. Mm. So we've pulled out here three cuvées which are all standalone. There's one example of each appellation, and these are amongst the uh, more affordable white wines. So uh, the first two are completely different in style. They could hardly be more different. Tell us about them. Yeah, it would be very different because, um, first of all, it is all fermented in still stainless... Ah, oh, I can't say that. On inox. <laughs> uh, stainless steel. <laughs> Thank you, Jasper. <laughs> um, and only a part of it is in new oak barrels. So this is the blend that will be afforded to, uh, to the buyers of this one. And uh, very typically um, from Maconnet area. Uh, it's already fruity and easy to drink uh, with a nice level of acidity. And uh, I got it in my glass. But it's still trouble because the Malo has just finished, so we can have a good idea of what the, the white will be after the Malo, uh, still on the balance, still on the energy on, on, these, uh, on these wines. And it's got that sunshine feel from uh, the Maconet from yes, Pufisse. Yes, definitely. Great. So Alongside have... that, though, yeah. is a wine which is uh, from a cooler site uh, up in Saint-Romain. Tell us about that in 2020. Yes, located in Côte de Beaune, as you know, um, cooler climate. Uh, climate and um, this is the, one of the uh, parcels we finished with uh, regarding the harvest so oh, okay. we had to wait a little bit for this wine uh, the, the oak is um, presently very um, um, important so we have the oak and then the fruit but behind this we can find a lot of uh, uh, roundness and energy as well but also deepness so what of you... depth the Puy Fuisse was picked on the first day, the Saint-Romain was picked on the, on the last, last day. Yeah. So if you like the soft and rounded style of Chardonnay, then look at the Puy Fuisse. Yes. If you want something a little bit more in teen, yeah. a little bit more uh, ciselé in French, yeah. uh, chiseled, yeah. uh, then Saint-Romain would be your, yeah. your value buy. And between both, you can go on the Bonne Premier ah, yes. Cru. Yes. Um, Le Montrevenot, if you remember, we also have this climate we've indicated in, in red and uh, in the Cuvée Siro Chaudron. Um, this one is really, really adapted to white wines, uh, not so far from the Clos des Mouches, just above the Clos des Mouches. And you can find the minerality, you can start to really feel the Côte de Beaune uh, Chardonnay style. Yes, I think that's a beautiful wine this year, and I think it was a good decision to uh, switch over some of the vineyard from red to white, because mm -hmm. it works well in both Definitely. colors. Thank you, we'll huh? be back shortly with Nassau.